You're ever going to figure the thing out. You've been working on it for like 10 years now. I can do it. I don't believe you. I think you have, what you have to do is you have to do, I like to do the, this white part first. And then you go click, ka -ching, like that. Just like that. It, it's, it's, very, it's very complex. Maybe I could figure out how to do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Meanwhile, six hours later, back at the ranch. <laughs> what was that one movie where the guy told him if he could solve that and by the end of the taxi ride, he'd huh? give him a job. What kind of job. <laughs> Here we go. I told you it would take six hours. That's not the cool part. This is the cool part. Wow. What are we doing? You know, so that we can have this in the background. Here okay. we go. As soon as you get it in there, you can get you in here. Hey, he's guiding me. There we go. There we go. <laughs> are we recording? Yeah. Oh! Hey, we're here at Sockeye Brewing in Boise. Yes. Got a and, chef uh, show. Yeah, we're hungry. Yeah, so we're starving. We're going to get some chow. And good beers in here. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is a cool trailer. I like it. Yeah, this is over at Sockeye Brewing. I can't believe it. We saw this all, all this cool stuff, man. Sockeye Brewing, come on, guys. <laughs> You're too big. <laughs> there we go. Here we are at Sockeye Brewing in Boise. Quite a big place here. Great big old tap over there. Let us delve in further. Looks like a pretty decent beer. There's this really cool looking dude over on the side. He is awesome. I'm thinking that's the guy that uh, owns a brewery. Yeah, that was uh, Fred Sherman. This one is called the Sherman Eater. And uh, they did this to, oh, basically commemorate him because unfortunately, he passed in 2023. He was the founder of Sockeye Brewery, which is where this comes from. It's one of those ones that had that wax all over the top. It took me like 20 minutes to peel it open, but I won. Welcome to season six. Yay! I, can you believe it? Six seasons, brother. That's a long time. That's a lot of beers. Mm. <laughs> Never enough, though. <laughs> May they always be. Yes. Please, God, yes. Lots and lots and lots. I am dying to try this. So let's. Oh my God, that is motor oil black. Net contents: sixteen point nine fluid ounces. It's a big beer. Nine point five alcohol by volume. I don't know what the difference is. It says nine point two ABV twenty 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 three release. Maybe. Oh, maybe it was different depending on what year. I always learn great stuff when we drink beer. Yeah. <laughs> SockeyeBrew.com. Yes. The Shermanator. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Sherman. Yes. I'm going to go in for a sniffer. Y'all can see how dark that is. I said it looked like engine oil. Yeah, it's really reasonably dark, you know. Might be a little reddish hue to it. I'm not sure. Ooh, got a great nose. Kind of banana-ish. Ooh. I don't know. It almost smells like flowers and bananas and... Well, oh, that is nice, though. I do see what you mean about the little bit of a banana note. Yeah, Esther. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just an off-nostril off flavor. Off Esther. <laughs> I'm a Fester. Yeah. An Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. Now, let's taste it. Skull, brother. Skull. Thanks for joining us for Season 6, guys. Welcome You're back. amazing. Mm, full body indeed. Yes.
Who? Not it's not sour. It's not terribly bitter. For me up front, it was all kind of smooth and yummy, and then it I don't know, it got like more carbonated towards the end. Is that weird? It's hard to know how to how to peg this one. Yeah. It's, I'm it's not anything like their their simpler beers, which they, you know, the sockeye, they don't really make terribly simple beer. Some of my favorite brown beer is a sockeye. Yeah, the sockeye porter is <laughs> awesome. That's kind of what this is reminiscent of. It's kind of like a it's like a porter, but much more stout. It's a lot sweeter. And then it's got that zotty finish, like the zot, like the candy. Mm -hmm. For me, it's it's kind of sweet and smooth and then turns into a zot. There's no bitterness. It is very complex. I'm having a hard time nailing down the flavors in this. It's porter. It's got a little, little bit of the ester in it. Very bubbly. Right in the middle, it's very smooth. And then all of a sudden, the bubbles pop. Up. Yeah. Yeah, Mentos and Coke. <laughs> That's what that would turn into. <laughs> That's a really interesting beer, and, and I feel bad because I am not very forthcoming on what it tastes like. It's, to me, I, I don't know, I'm just lost. Unusual. It's a sweet porter to me. It is, yeah, it is sweet, and it is portery and zotty. I, I guess that's all I can really say. That's all we can we can say about it, this one. It's good. Yeah. I wouldn't have any problem opening another one. You have another one? Always. <laughs> There are good ships. And wood ships. Ships that sail the sea. Right. But the best ships. Left. <laughs> are French ships. May <laughs> they always be, brother. Oh, I need to burp. My guts are just, ugh. It's very... Lots of bubbles. Uh, oh, oh, that's better. Yeah, either end doesn't really matter. As long as there's not chunks, either end, you're golden. <laughs> you don't like chunks. <laughs>